Hey beautiful souls, welcome to this week's energy update where we're looking at the dates of uh, December 18th through December 25th, which is Christmas in the United States. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you that are celebrating during this time. And this week we have the super new moon in Capricorn happening on December 23rd. And it's going to be at 316 Mountain Time in the morning. So uh, there is this beautiful energy that is coming in with this Capricorn new moon with new starts, new birth, new things happening. So of course we do have our 10 new moon wishes and you want to make those within eight hours after the new moon is kicking in to make the most of its energy as well as focusing in on the energy of Capricorn makes it even more powerful. You can make whatever wishes you want, but if you do have them around a Capricorn energy, then it's even more powerful. So let's talk real quick here about what Capricorn energy uh, ensues, what subjects it is. I'm gonna put up a screen here to show you if you want to screenshot it. It is about work and career, like it says, success, hard work, achievement, drive, and goal setting. Also, it's about your public image, your reputation, and fame. It also has to do with father or father figures, authority figures, so it could be bosses and those as well. Also, it's about tradition and confidence in things of the past that worked well. Capricorn is very analytical. They see what worked well and then they can put that into, um, you know, uh, impact for the future. It's also about being responsible and disciplined, some self-control, time management, and it can make us a little too strict. Maybe we need some balance, or are we in need of an upgrade of some sort? Also, Capricorn's long-term planning and strategies, uh, you can ask yourself, how secure do you feel? What can help transform your energy? And then we can be feeling negative and too serious. Or is there an area that can use a dose of reality? And then lastly, Capricorn does roll over the bones, the joints, the teeth, the gallbladder, the knees, and the skin. So any wishes around all of those things can definitely uh, help make these 10 new moon wishes for this super moon very very powerful and you can have those wishes kind of stated like thank you for like the greatest health around my gallbladder or whatever it may be but you can start it off with thank you for and have it as a uh, energy of gratitude when you're asking for the wishes now a super new moon it's super because the you know the orbit of the moon around the earth is not like in a exact circle it's more oval and so um, when the earth is in the middle and it's on that's the more closer path when the new moon and the full moons happen around here that's why they're super moons because they're closer they impact us more they impact the tides of the oceans more so we are impacted just a little bit more around these as well so i do like that and then for this reading we're just going to be asking spirit uh, and creator, where in your life are you being too serious? Where can you use a little more joy, a little more leniency around? So we're going to look into that, of course, our reading for each individual zodiac sign. And we're jumping into yours right now. All right, Scorpio, this is your weekly energy update. And I know your cards are already out. Because I recorded your entire reading and the microphone was not turned on, <laughs> so it was really far away. It wasn't the one that was up close. And so I loved the reading that came through so much that I didn't want to re-record a new one and I'm going to go through the cards. So thank you for being patient as we do this. So we, of course, have the Power of Surrender deck and all the cards that I use in a reading, I do list in the description box below. So the first card that came out here with the Power of Surrender was Surrender to Receiving Support and Love. So in the area where you can be a little less serious is about being open and allowing others to give to you. Because it says, allow the love and support of others in 
rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So the messages that were coming through, which are reiterated throughout the entire reading, is about allowing yourself to receive from others and looking at it as that you give others the gift of allowing them to give to you. Because you know how wonderful it feels when you're able to give to others, but we cheat people out of that if we don't allow them to give to us. And there was mention here of looking back into your earlier life to see where that kind of codependency tendency comes in of not allowing yourself to receive um, as much like equal like you develop somewhere where you have to give a hundred of something to someone to receive one back and that there's this beautiful evolution this beautiful uh, looking into where that came from whether it was parents or grandparents or <clears throat> like teachers uh, coaches, whatever it may have been, where you had to over, over, over give and, and being able to receive just one back. And there's this beautiful understanding of the equal of giving and receiving that come in with that. And then you had card 52, which is the hasta la vista, baby. Card 52. And I'll read that from the book here. <clears throat> says, remember that song Queen Elsa sings in the Disney movie Frozen when she unleashes her magic? Well, if you didn't catch this animated flick, it's time to let it go. Walk away and just like you never look back on the trash can you leave at the curb, don't give it a second glance. It's time for new beginnings. Out of the old and in with the new. And that came about with, uh, because I had mentioned in the original reading, <clears throat> allowing people to give to you, even if it's in ways that don't meet up to your ways of having things done. The example they gave was the dishwasher. And we probably all have had battles with people when we enter and put all the dishes in the dishwasher and people don't put it the way it's supposed to be. And so we would rather do it ourselves than have it done wrong. But this card was talking about allowing people to give to you even if they do some things wrong even if you have to rewash three dishes or whatever allowing people to give to you not restricting them because of the all the rules you have around things of the how allow people to do it and this is what this was talking here let go those all those roles of the supposed to the should the need to the have to the must around how things are to be done allow yourself surrender and let people give to you and i really like that and then you had and this was the oracle of e and this is the spirit junkie deck which says my kindness is a gift i bestow upon the world and this card really reiterated that it is a gift you give so much to the world you give your heart so much that and you know how wonderful and amazing it feels when you're able to give and when we don't allow others to give to us they don't get to feel that and i know i i am a huge over giver obviously you see how much free stuff i give away on my channel i have to watch it that i don't slip back into my old enabler codependency tendencies but one thing that helped me in letting people give to me and allow myself to receive was seeing it as that I'm giving them a gift and allowing them to gift them, you know, and uh, give to me myself because I, I know how wonderful it feels to give. And if I allow people to give to me, I'm allowing them to feel that way. And so that's a gift that I was giving. And that helped me <laughs> in the beginning in a kind of, you know, unique, interesting way, right? But it helps to understand that what we give to others makes us feel so good. And when we allow them to give to us, it allows such a beautiful energy. Which brought us into the tarot, which this is the tarot, the magical forest. And the first card that popped out was the eight of wands, which this is all this energy. Every, there's so many people want to give to you and allow you to receive that you have helped. And so there's all this energy that people want to give to you 
um, in beautiful, loving ways. And this is all about let them, let them give to you in this beautiful, beautiful way. Is you have the Nine of Cups that came in too, which is a wish fulfillment card. And it is wishes coming true because when we don't allow ourselves to receive, we also are cut ourselves off from allowing the universe to bring us what our dreams are, like a dream come true. When we're resistant to letting other people give to us, we have this block where we don't allow you know, anything else to come to us either. And so we're striving, we want this wishes fulfilled, but there's this block and this change, this going back and looking at what was it when you were younger that made you feel like you didn't deserve, you know, when we're children, we take on what we experience, right? So whatever situations they were, that made you think that the proper rate of exchange was a hundred to one or a thousand to one where you have to give a thousand of something to deserve one back. You get to go back and look at that because that's what's keeping you from being able to receive from the universe in huge, huge ways. And this is a beautiful gift that's coming to you because it's going to release you from that. And then you got the the king of pentacles which the king of pentacles they have the ace of pentacles in the the middle there which is them finding their worth in a new way in relation to the outside world they find within themselves this unconditional love that they are worthy to receive and so this is part of that journey because you also got the page of pentacles which is also offering you the new way of looking at your worth in the outside world that you are worthy to receive and then you got the emperor which is all about the stability coming in the outside world but the emperor rules over kings and you got another king and what was coming through was that you know when emperors and kings you see it all the time in movies when people would come and they would bring gifts to be in the good graces of the emperor or the king, the royalty. And they really didn't need those things and they would put it into the royal treasury and help their kingdoms out with all this stuff. But it's about having that type of mentality, having that type of belief that you are like royalty, you are deserving of these gifts to be brought to you. Not in an egotistical, arrogant way, but in a beautiful, loving way, because you deserve it because of what you give to the world. You wouldn't be, it's like you're not an evil emperor who's taking taxes from people. You're a loving emperor who's allowing people to bring their appreciation to you, and then you use that to give more, because you know how you are. So there's this beautiful message that's coming through here for all of this. And then your, uh, this is from the You Are Awesome deck. Yeah. And this one is, I don't apologize when I need a break. Even this temple needs recovery time. And with the example they gave here was like, it. you deserve to re rest and relax. And they had showed me a vision of, you know, someone who goes to like a holiday dinner immediately gets up with the hosts and helps gather the dishes, helps clean up, helps do the dishes, helps do this, that, and da, 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 da. And then, all right, bye, everybody. And then you leave because you spent all your time cleaning up after the dinner. This time they said, sit your butt down and <laughs> just behave and allow yourself to receive and let other people do it this time. This is a time for you to sit in that uncomfortable position of just receiving. <laughs> and so I like that for you. And then your final affirmation card here was really hilarious. And it says, <clears throat> everyone is a teacher. Everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. You know, one's teaching you how you can receive. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. And the ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call a-holes. <laughs> They've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So today I'm thanking all the a-holes. Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part in making me a better person. <laughs> it totally cracked me up. 
and it's still funny. <laughs> so, you know, it is. It's our way of approaching things. And even those individuals back in the day that we learned the, you know, one to a thousand, you know, rate, everything taught us what we wanted to feel back then. But all of this is changing. All of this energy is so that you can focus on receiving and not feeling like you are not worthy of it. So beautiful, beautiful energy for this week. And I absolutely love this for you, Scorpio. Now, if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, also put out pick a cards, monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign, and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get updated immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button, and then by clicking the subscribe button, you're given access to the notification bell. When you go in there, there is an all option. If you select it, two things happen. One, you are notified of any new videos that come out. And two, you're also notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. So if you're interested in that, I'd be love for you to stop by and check it out. Also, doing the things I mentioned helps spread the love and it does help this channel grow in significant ways. Because when you like or share one of the videos, comment on one of my videos, uh, subscribe to my channel, doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy happy it wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for this specific life, uh, I do offer personal readings, and all that information is listed in the description box of the video down below. All right, beautiful Scorpios, as you go through this amazing week, please know every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things, and of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. We'll be talking soon. But in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.